Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at how Transmog should work. So if you guys are wondering, like, what do you mean Transmog? What is that? Essentially, Transmog is the act of basically looking however the fuck you want. <laughs> so in simple terms, let's say, let's say I really like this Iron Remembrance grip, but I don't want to use it because the stats are bad. But I want to use it on my Iron Truage grips because my stats are exactly what I want them to be. Well, with the Transmog guide system, you could essentially just get the Iron Remembrance scripts and make them into the Iron Truage scripts, like as in look-wise. Kind of like ornaments. So you guys know, like, basically, I should have just said this. This is Transmog. This is a very restrictive Transmog, but this is Transmog. Basically, this is how the armor looks. Basic bitch, this is just the armor, right? This allows me to basically, okay, use any of the Eververse armor, or if you have any of the old armor from Destiny Vanilla and, two, and Season 2 and 3, then right here you can use like Season 2 arms or Season 3 arms from Iron Banner. Now, hopefully what Bungie does is, let's say, let me change uh, my chest piece real quick. So let's say I want to I wanna change my whole look. I want to, I want to look different, right? It should work as I'm go I go to the armor and all of this right here I can reacquire to basically make into an ornament. So essentially what I would love the love Bungie to do is just either convert all of these into ornaments because obviously why would you even you can't even acquire these because they're random randomized gear. So just make all of these into ornaments. I would love to use my Iron Simiki arms that I haven't used in forever because they're super low level and they still have the, the stats like this because I still have that so arm, that armor piece. So I would love to like just either get that and then just be like, okay, like, okay, I'll give you a perfect example. Let me see what's this one. So let's say I want to use these arms, right? Cool. I grab the ornament and then I go in here. And then it should say like, uh, not dismantle, but it's another word for it. it. Should say like acquire or something. Or all of the armor from from the collections should just be already something that you can ornament. So what I would love for them to do is let's change the helmet. Instead of the default ornament, it should be a collections tab. When I click on it, it should take me to the collections like this one right here only for the hunter because obviously i'm for the hunter but it should be like it, it would be cool if it was a new a new um a new ui for that but i'm not gonna fucking uh bitch out anything too crazy like that so it would be cool if it could show me like okay here's everything that you can do and it would be cool if it showed me ones that i don't have yet be so, so that way i can like hunt for them but yeah, I, I mean, this would be amazing. Like, can you imagine? Like, oh, fuck. Like, okay. Maybe, maybe I want to do, maybe I want to do this one right here. I haven't done this one ever. So I, I click it. And then once I hold it down, whatever, it should change. That's it. If they do it without a vendor. If they do it with a vendor, I wouldn't have that much issue, to be quite honest. Considering that, like, in WoW, there's a vendor. And the vendor is usually not that expensive. I mean, you still use gold, but it's not anything crazy. Unless you change your armor all the time like I do, then, I mean, it's pretty rough. Because you're, you're killing a lot of gold for that. But I would love it if they change the ornament set. Instead of, you know, all of this being Eververse and sometimes other pieces from the past. I would love it. If it was the icon of like a cl the collections, you click it and you go to the collections, you click it and then that's it. Easy. That's how it should be. What it's probably going to be is either a vendor or there's going to be a price attached to it. And obviously we know there's going to be a price attached to it, Bungie said themselves. But what's going to be fucked up is essentially think about it like this. You know how like each of these have their own like oh 1000 glimmer and two legendary shards what it's most likely going to be is i'm going to click it and then once i go to the collections tab 
it's most likely going to be all right so to transmog this it's going to cost a hundred silver or a thousand bright dust or 500 bright dust i don't think they're going to do legendary shards i don't think they're going to do glimmer i think glimmer would be crazy i would love it considering we usually don't use glimmer for anything else aside from bounties but what the fuck ever uh legendary shards would be okay i i really don't have an issue with that one but if they did do glimmer i think what five or not five thousand fifty fifty thousand fifty g's i think that would be fine considering it's glimmer like it goes up to 250 25. yeah i i think it goes up to 250 maybe if it goes up to 250 yeah that's like a whole armor set and i know that's expensive but like it's glimmer my guy it's in game just you know use uh one of these rainmaker or go to uh spider i don't know i think that would be great obviously they should not change it for exotics i think the exotics is a i think that's a no-no especially with like weapons themselves i don't think that's right either <clears throat> for legendary weapons I'm, I, I'm more open to that but unfortunately if you were to, if you were to ask me like tony what do you think they're gonna do they're probably gonna go with the silver route which it's gonna be like you could do you could change each armor set for 100 silver which doesn't sound expensive but someone like me who changes their armor a lot i do this each season that's a lot because it's not just me just changing it the one time and being like oh this is the armor set it's me literally experimenting all season so that's easily easily without even thinking about it that's like a good 25 dollars just going down the drain that's minimum dog that's minimum like i know for sure i would kill way more than that and honestly if it if it turns out to be the case where it's like oh it's silver or bright dust but it's super expensive then i'm out like i'm, I'm gonna treat transmog like, like it's not in the game and if god god forbid if they actually take out these bright like these but end up if they take out the eververse cosmetics and leave it into the transmog i'm probably gonna be mad because i'm like all right cool so i just lost all that and now i have to pay money to put it put it on essentially so and i know people are gonna be like oh but it's bright dust you can you can you can work for bright dust a they're changing how bright dust works again in the next season they're gonna be basically account wide so instead of running all of your bounties on all three characters for three three thousand bright dust we could see we could see just you have to do it on one character but we could see the bright dust just go down if they leave it for three thousand i would be fine with that mostly because i mean fuck dude like i wouldn't have to run three like three characters for bounties but i highly suspect they're not going to do that they're probably going to decrease the the amount of brightness you get so that's that's where my head comes in like sure if each bright like i'm like i'm saying if each uh if each weekly and daily and repeatable br uh bright dust bounty equal to how much you got if you did it all three characters i would be fine with it i'd still be mad because obviously they're not going to do it like 100 silver or 100 bright dust because that's doesn't make sense so they would probably do it like 500 or a thousand bright dust and that's five thousand bright dust just for one one set and i do multiple characters as well so the 25 dollars was just on my hunter 75 dollars for all characters and that's just me being bare minimum like i would change my armor all the time not really i'm not really fucking with that idea so the way it should work the way it should work for the game and for the players is it should be in game like no vendor just do it how it is right now but when you click right here when you click this right here it should automatically automatically take you to to the collections tab it should automatically take you here and you can choose what you want and then it just sticks onto it so oh i want to use the iron pledge ornament i click it and then it just immediately gets put put into that like 
kind of like, okay, there you go. I have it on now. And it should be for I, me personally. What I would love to see is either glimmer or legendary shards. As in, like, you can do 50,000 legendary or 50,000 glimmer or like 25 legendary shards. I or 25 50 legendary shards I guess I don't know whatever whatever price you want it that's that's my thing like if you make a thousand legendary shards it's just gonna be like no one's gonna do it because it's gonna be too expensive aside from people who like have a fuck ton more but even then it's like a thousand legendary shards my guy <clears throat> I don't know about you but I like to have a good amount of legendary shards so that way I can farm stuff for the next seasons and whatnot <clears throat> I know you guys are probably thinking, like, why are you bitching about Brightness when you have 22? That's That took me a while. Not only that, that's took, that's me, like, not spending much. That's me just grinding it out. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys think it should be exactly the way I say? I think it should be. I think the, I think it's the good for the, it's a, I think it's good for the players to have a transmog system that doesn't gauge them or gouge them out of their fucking, like, this, the, the store currency that you can get from in-game it's just i just really hope that they do transmog right because this game would be amazing with transmog and i would hate to see it just kind of devolve into like this whole oh just i don't know man i the transmog really really scares me i i think the transmog system's cool right now I would love to have access to all the collections armor because I have a fuck ton of it. It would mean I could experiment way more. Ah, uh, way more, man. Like, to be honest, each season would be so different from the other because I would have access to all the armor sets from Destiny 2 vanilla to Beyond Light. Like, I, I just, mm. I would love to have blue armor transmogable as well. But that's just that's just me being picky. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And Bungie, please uh, just <clears throat> don't 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 fuck it up, man. Don't don't fuck it up. I'm I haven't been this pumped up for a change in Destiny 2 since forever. I don't even remember when was the first time. So. Bungie, I really hope. I don't care how much it is. Just make it in-game pro, in-game currencies. And I'm not talking about Bright Dust. Bright Dust is not an in-game currency that I would be happy with, considering that's that's like that's like my money to or my currency to get stuff from the store. Like like here. This is the currency where I'm like, oh shit, look at that. Father Violence. Never had that. Let me get that, you know? Or maybe Violent Exorcism. I'm still not 100% sure if I want that or not. But, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> I'm I'm just going to keep saying the same thing. So, be safe, guys. You know what's happening in the world. And other than that, we'll see you guys